What do you call a can opener that's broken? A corn opener. <laughs> that's awful. Don't forget, comment your dad jokes down below because um, I need them. Right, so hello again, everybody, and welcome back. Quick video today, but Amazon have done a new update on their Fire TV devices, and I'm guessing Fire Sticks are going to be included in this at some point. And it's something I think a lot of people are going to find very annoying, and they're also going to be a bit ticked off that, well, we buy a Fire Stick, it's ours. Stop changing stuff, but let's take a look now. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and let's crack on. Right, so we'll get into the most recent update in a second, but as we can see, this is the Fire Stick 4K Max. And as you can see, it's already cluttered as it is. There's a lot of advertising on there already. They've even added this little gaming icon at the side. A lot of people had this update quite a while ago. I got it quite recently. Another pointless update, in my opinion. But if I jump over to the AFTV News website, you're going to see this post here. And I saw it yesterday, and I thought it's worth letting you know about. What it says is, Fire TVs now auto-play full-screen video ads when waking up and what you can do about it. So basically, what this is saying is, across the top of your Fire Stick, you've got these like advertising banners or previews, whatever they are, and... It's going to load up straight into one of those as full screen. So if I click up and say I want it, it's just going to load up like this. Boom, straight in an advert. It's going to be loud. People aren't going to want that. And I'm not sure why they're doing it. So like I say, once you come out of sleep mode, it's going to load up like this and then bang you straight into an ad. Now, let me know in the comment section down below, is this something that you don't approve of? Me, personally, I think they've kind of overstepped with this one because they're forcing ads onto you now, which I don't agree with, to be honest. But AFTV News has posted, it says, Amazon has made an audacious change to Fire TV devices that causes a full-screen video ad to automatically play when the device is powered on or wakes from its standby sleep mode. Fire TVs have long had a large banner at the top of the home screen that when manually navigated to, would expand into a full screen video. In a moment as well, I will show you how you can stop this happening. Well, kinda. So a recent change made by Amazon has made the ad the new default cursor location instead of the navigation menu as it has been since the Fire TV debuted in 2014. Making the banner ad the new default cursor location now causes the ad to expand and auto play immediately. So what this is saying is when you first start up your fire stick or you come out of sleep mode, then this is where your fire stick would start up so automatically it'd be on the home screen bit there and that's where it'd start but now it's going to be starting here meaning it's going to start auto playing those ads now like i say the fire sticks at the moment i'm not sure if this is coming to them let me know if you've had this update and does it do this for you on your fire tv device but as it says this change first began appearing three months ago on a limited number of fire tv devices likely as a way for amazon to test the waters on how it will be perceived the change now seems to be making its way out to the vast majority of fire tv devices as customer complaints begin to pile up now this is another point here as as well which might give users a bit of a say in what amazon do then it tells you how you can stop the video ad playing so basically to stop this happening or stop it where you turn your fire stick on and it's into this advert that's playing or you've got loud volume then obviously what you can do is just click on down and then that'll obviously come off the ad and it will stop playing but the other thing i would recommend that people do is go across to settings down to where it says preferences and then here, you're going to see where it says Featured Content. So once you've clicked on Featured Content, you can see now it says Allow Video Autoplay and Allow Audio Autoplay. So if you don't mind the ad, but you don't want the audio, then you can turn that off. Or if you don't want the video as well, turn them both off. Now, if I go back home, if I go up to that video ad, it's now just going to show the images. It's not going to show no previews or ads or anything like that. It's just going to scroll through those images. So there's no surprises when you open it up and it's playing loud adverts. Now, something else that's interesting it does go on to say is, if you want to send a message to Amazon that this brash change has crossed the line, my suggestion is to leave a review for any and all Fire TV models that you've recently purchased 
and explicitly mention full-screen autoplay ads as the reason for the review. A sharp and sudden spike in reviews seems to get more attention at Amazon than contacting customer support or sending feedback messages. This will be especially true for the new Fire TV Stick 4K and the Max since... With only a few thousand ratings, it wouldn't take too many reviews to be noticed. So what he's saying at AFTV News is, if you contact Amazon with a complaint, it just gets ignored and they don't really do anything about it. But if a lot of people start leaving poor reviews and explain why, then this is something Amazon's going to notice and has more chance of getting through to them. But Amazon all limiting how many people can leave reviews as well as you can see here amazon has noticed unusual reviewing activity on this product due to this activity we have limited this product to verified purchase reviews another comment i noticed as well is another thing that i noticed for the first time today is that i wasn't able to skip the ad that plays before loading a movie on prime so prime video is obviously included with your amazon prime account and there's not meant to be adverts included, it's meant to be included in your Amazon subscription. And yes, they did play adverts before, but you could skip them. And what this comment's saying is they've actually stopped you skipping them and you've got to watch the full ad, which again, is dog shit. But that's just a bit of news about what you might be able to expect in the future or what potentially you can do to stop it happening. And if it does happen, how you can turn that video auto play off so it's not automatically playing adverts when you turn it on. So basically, just trying to keep you updated. Right, so that being said, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, and I'll see you soon. ta -da.